guys this is uh this is tim barrage um this is just going to be a short video on the the blender capabilities of the microsoft surface pro so as you can see here i have the newly released in australia microsoft surface pro uh 128 gig version running the latest version of blender which i believe is uh which i believe is 2.67b so this will just be a short video on um on how how this tiny little tablet this uh portable computer uh runs runs blender so to start it off um uh blender inputs either touch uh at the moment there is no touch capabilities um such as pinch or zoom or rotate um but it does input the finger touch as if it were a mouse so i can just grab this cube and uh move it around quite nicely and then use the normal keyboard shortcuts to undo um if i try zooming uh by pinching it has a uh i'm not sure there might be a way to change this but it um it kind of pans the camera uh moves it left or right uh if i use the scroll function on the uh touch keyboard it does move in and out which is good if i use the stylus with the uh surface pro it um it works very nicely for grabbing and moving and uh i can do some mesh editing like that as you can see what i really want to show you however is um is let's delete this cube and add a uh maybe add a um what can we do with this uh, let's add a grid uh maybe subdivide it uh a couple times um go into top view zoom in and uh let's let's try out sculpting okay maybe make it a bit larger the uh great thing about the latest wacom drivers for the surface pro is that let's enable uh dynamic topology I'll maybe set that to 15. the surface pro does handle um uh sculpting surprisingly well so if I just go like that, you can see it is it is sculpting nicely. Um, at the moment, I have pressure sensitivity enabled for strength. So if I push really hard, it goes higher. If I go nice and light, kind of really barely influences the uh, mesh topology. So, um, let's try enabling pressure sensitivity for radius. As you can see, I have a larger circle around my uh, cursor. And when I push, a uh, smaller circle shows up in the middle. Um, if I were to change my dynamic topology settings to a much lower value, uh, it would 
it would work nicely you can see just putting a little bit of pressure there and then a lot of pressure and you get the maximum size so you can enable you can enable uh, you can enable that for both uh, radius and strength at the same time if you want um, let's try put that down to 10 put on smooth shading and there you can see the uh, small to large uh, kind of like a brush stroke really it's really small kind of movements and probably write my name And um, uh, the Surface Pro tends to tends to be able to handle uh, quite a lot of polys quite well, as you can see here. That's a quite dense mesh, and um, sculpting still nice and smooth on it, which is really really quite beneficial. Uh, say you're doing texture painting. Um, or sculpting. Uh, if if touch capabilities were implemented, you would be able to orbit around your model or scale it or whatever you need to do, and then draw on it using only a stylus and the touch screen, and uh, not using the keyboard at all, which would be quite interesting. Um, it, and it obviously works quite nicely. So I'll just open up a uh, file. I was tracking, which is a, uh, a motion tracking shot. I'm working on uh, 1080p footage there. I'm just going to uh, pre-cache some of the frames. The only um, the only limit about this Surface Pro when it comes to um, when it comes to Blender and motion tracking is that it only has 4 gig of RAM and a lot of that RAM will be uh, given to running the system and Blender let alone um, storing cached files so there out of a 410 frame sequence it could only store approximately 125 frames of 1080p footage I'll just play it back and if, uh, if I change some what's my background? Oh good. You uh you always want to run it on a proxy. I do on my larger computer anyway. Um so that it plays back smoothly. You can see it twenty four frames per second. Um if I make this screen bigger you will see uh, how the tracking works nicely there. Uh, as far as CGI in the scene goes, I have a little cube there. You can see me moving around. And um, and that's about it. Which is it's, it's working quite nicely. I have uh, refined versions of this track that I do on my desktop, desktop computer because it is... Um, easy to work with but if you needed to you could always plug in a a uh, wireless or wired keyboard and mouse and it, it would work really well with this Surface Pro um, because it it can surprisingly handle all these things like sculpting uh, motion tracking modeling all very well at the moment I am running uh, my screen at uh, 1600 by 900 frames, uh, not frames, uh, resolution. So let's try bumping it up to 1080p, which is the maximum resolution of this screen. 1920 by 1080. Okay, keep settings. Uh, everything looks pretty good there. Um, 
So let's open up Blender. G. Uh, make it larger. Now the uh, with this resolution, the um, the buttons and the uh, UI are quite small. There might be a Blender option to change that, but everything is uh, really quite small because of the uh, you know the drastic increase in resolution. But it does mean you can fit. Uh, fit a lot of detail on this um, on this whole setup. You know, you can pan through nicely and animate and oops and uh, add and edit points on the um, on the graph. Uh, what, let's try making this bigger. Yeah, so it's um, it's a very versatile product, and as far as Blender goes, it's uh, it really does fit well together, um, especially with this uh, stylus, and this uh, the touch sensitivity um, you know, with one thousand and twenty four levels, um, it's is quite useful. Uh, it'd be very good if you you know. You're out in the park somewhere, and you want to um, want to quickly sketch up a model. You know, uh, sculpt something, maybe a figure or something you see nearby that looks very good. Um, yeah, it's a really as a package. It really does work quite well together. So um, I hope this helped you if you're looking looking at buying the Surface Pro but not knowing if it's whether whether it's for you. Um, it works well with Blender obviously and uh, I haven't really run into any problems yet so I hope this helped and uh, have a nice day.